Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. As always, I'm Kathy Hester from HealthySlowCooking.com and I'm here to show you something yummy to bake today. So today we're going to make kind of um, a coffee house copycat drink that's um, hazelnut, coconut, mocha. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make the hazelnut coconut milk and that's going to be the base of our drink. I'm going to show you some different alternatives if you're using sugar or not using sugar. If you're not using nuts at all, you could do an oat coconut milk or even just an oat milk by itself with maybe some um, nut and coconut extract. That would probably work just fine too. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to make the milk. Then I'll show you how to make a frappuccino version of it. This is going to be up on my blog, but it's going to be later today because I'm running behind. So let's change cameras and get started. So I had a new sign that I had to show off. So, but everybody's welcome. You guys know that. That's me. Okay. So the first thing I did, and I'm making a half batch this time. On the blog, it's a half a cup of hazelnuts and a half a cup of coconut. And this is just a quarter cup. I just put it in the skillet and toasted it. And hopefully you can see that it's got a little bit of color. And what's even better is that it really is very, very fragrant right now. And so that's what we're really going for. We want our milk to taste yummy. So I've got two cups of water in here. And I am using two blenders simply because I don't want to wash them in the middle of this video. And that's really the only reason. So we're going to put this in. We could have put it in the other way. Normally I would, so it wouldn't be so splashy. But I wanted you guys to see what the toasted mixture looked like. And one thing I'd love to know is, have any of you guys been making any of your own non-dairy milks? And if so, what have you been using? I do a lot of cashew milk just because I don't have to think about it. I don't have to soak it. Pecan milk works about the same way. So I'm just going to put this on and hopefully get it really tight. It wasn't quite tight enough this morning. Okay, so there we go. This is going to be loud, and we're going to blend it up really good, then we're going to strain it. double blend this just to get it smoother. Now, since my hazelnuts, I didn't um, take the brown part off. There's maybe even more sediment in here. And you can kind of see, I think, even just from right there, you can see some pieces of the sediment. You could use a nut milk bag. I usually use a fine mesh strainer. Can get most of this in here. So what will happen, and you can really see it, there we go, about there, you can see the sediment in there. And one thing I really want to tell you is this whole toasting thing of the coconut and um, the hazelnuts, it really makes it taste almost like it has some kind of flavoring or syrup in there. You really can taste the hazelnut flavor a lot. And what I do when I'm using a fine mesh strainer is I just kind of push it through like this. The little holes get clogged up, so I just move that away. And so what you end up with is a whole lot of this, hazelnut and coconut. And since I did a whole other batch, and you can tell it's a little more dry, you could either dehydrate this and um, use it as a flour replacement, or you could... Um, actually do what I'm thinking I'm going to do, and that is to make some scones from it. So, the main thing that you want to remember when you're doing a nut milk 
is depending on your nuts, you may have to soak them a long time. Um, I think that kind of crisping up the hazelnuts a little bit made that a little easier, and I really like the flavor that it provides. So I would definitely recommend doing that. If you do almonds, I do soak those overnight, and you could even do something like soak it overnight with some dates, right? And go ahead and have kind of a sweetened almond milk. So that's something that you can do. So this is our milk, and it's still not perfectly white, and it's not going to be. And that's okay. And this is from my earlier batch. I also toasted up a little bit of coconut to go on top. I'm going to get the Vitamix out now. So first off, I am using some cold brew, but it is actually not coffee. It's Ticino. And so it has no caffeine. And it uses things like chicory and other grains. This is some of the milk I made earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make it the color that I like it. I like my coffee pretty light. So I'm gonna go ahead and put kind of a bit in there, huh? And then I will probably put my other milk in here in a minute. You could, at this moment, if you wanted to, go ahead and put some sort of chocolate syrup. If you're going sugar-free, um, I use the new Stevia chocolate cocoa syrup. If I'm doing that, it's very, very thick, and you'll see some of that later, but I think you can even see around the edges. I mean, it's just fudgy, fudgy thick. It tastes really good. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add something to kind of get it to hold together. So we have a couple of choices. We can use ground chia seeds if you want um, a more natural version, or we could use just a pinch of xanthan gum. Now, xanthan gum is expensive. It's about $12 for a bag not much bigger than this, right? I've had this since I wrote the bean book, so that's got to be like four or five years. So I use so tiny, tiny, tiny amounts. So depending on what you want, you could use either one. So what we want to do first is incorporate that into our coffee mixture. Also, if you were going to add some sweetener, and that's totally up to you, this would be a good stage to do that as well. So I'm going to blend this up. And you know what? I think we should put just a little chocolate syrup. I think the mocha they use at Starbucks for this is the white chocolate mocha, which is not vegan. So um, double check on that. I don't know, could you guys see how thick that is? Look at that. It's really, really thick, which I think is a bonus. I find that a lot of things that are sweetened with steam, stevia. Hey, Rob, I need to make a drink for you. Rob, what's your favorite Starbucks drink? So now that was, I'm using that as my sweetener, and I'm going to put in some ice. I usually use about two cups. Sometimes I use as much as I can humanly fit in there because I like drinks super, super icy milkshake thick. see how that kind of thickened up as we were going along you can see it in there so then all you need to do and again this is even hazelnuts are expensive but fancy frappuccinos are more expensive than hazelnuts um, I think and maybe if you're in the Pacific Northwest it's different because hazelnuts belong there um, you could also do a southern version of this, and you could do it with pecans and maybe a little bit of maple syrup or something. So I toasted off some coconut just to kind of like go ahead and garnish it, right? 
Honestly, I could do without the crunchy. Oh, yeah. Dawn wanted to know, yeah, it's good to know there's sugar-free chocolate syrup. There is. New Naturals is really good about that. They also have um, a mint chocolate syrup and a, a stevia simple syrup. So they're a really good company, and they have tons of flavored stevias. Um, okay, so what I did is I took some of the chocolate, and I put it in a really cheap little squeeze bottle I probably got at, where did I get it? AC Moore, someplace like that, or Michael's. And see, so you too can make your own little squigglies. And now I didn't pay like $10 for those squigglies, right? Plus, you can top it with a little bit more. Oh, you guys need to see this where it, I don't know if you can see where it's just coming over the edge, but it looks really yummy. So. Mmm, it's really good. So from the hazelnuts, and you guys might be able to see it dripping better over here. Doesn't that look so, and why does it look yummy when things are dripping? I don't really understand that. Do you guys understand that? So tell me what your favorite kind of seasonal frosted drink or latte. So on the blog, I'm going to have this recipe. And the milk is basically the base of the drink, and it acts as the flavoring for the hazelnut, right? So you can make an iced latte or a hot latte using these same ingredients. You can use cold brew coffee, and I made um, just a latte this morning with one, and I used half-calf. So that's the other thing that happens when you're making these at home. You can use decaf coffee. You can use a grain coffee substitute, so you have no coffee at all. Um, you can leave out that kind of bittery flavor or add tea. I'm not a huge fan of tea and chocolate, but I'm learning. So that's really up to you. So you can use it with caffeine, without caffeine. Um, the milk is not sweetened. We just used a little bit of that syrup. You could sweeten your milk with um, maple syrup or coconut sugar, something like that if you wanted to. All these different things that you cannot get in a coffee shop. And if you can, it's going to cost dollars more, right? So I think a tall Frappuccino's at Starbucks with soy milk ends up being like $5.50, $5.50 ish. And sure, hazelnuts are expensive. And I think I paid around 10 bucks for this big bag of hazelnuts that I just opened this morning. So I made six cups of this kind of hazelnut cream. And I probably can make about I don't know, two or three more batches easily, possibly even more than that if I if I kind of skimp. And for the coconut that I used, I want you want to use uh, a dry, unsweetened shredded coconut, and you can get that anywhere. You don't have to use the really expensive, beautiful cake topping kind of coconut. So you can get the cheaper coconut, and it works just fine. So what I'd like to know is, A, tell me your favorite coffee drink or your favorite coffee house drink, which may not be coffee. And tell me what some of your dietary limitations are so that I know what you're avoiding and maybe I can give you some extra help when I'm writing up the recipe later. And I think that's it. And let me know if there's anything that you're really interested in seeing next week. And I'll see what I can do, okay? So have a wonderful week. Save lots of money by making your drinks at home. And have a very yummy day.